So today, as you can see, there is an absolutely beautiful car sitting behind me and that's what we're going to be working on today. It's a very rare, completely custom home-built car. This is a 1970 Shelby GT500. It's got a 427 in it. A lot of body panels were made by the owner himself and installed, welded, um, fabricated and painted. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful cars that I think uh, our company has worked on. Today, we're not doing a lot to it. We're going to remove any debris on the paint, clay bar it, and then if need be, we'll move on to a full paint correction and a wax. Um, it's getting ready for Motorama, but this car is absolutely stunning. Uh, the owner's gonna talk a bit about it today as well, uh, a bit about the history. Just uh, this grill, custom made, bottom grill, all these match. The hood scoop matches the quarter panel air intake. This angle is all the same. The paint scheme is incredible, and you'll see that along the video, how it works well with the body lines. Even the trunk is lined with this beautiful carpeting. Uh, inside, there is a four-speed automatic transmission that can be tuned electronically with a computer inside the glove box. So um, this car is not stock whatsoever. It's got completely custom suspension. So yeah, we're just gonna clean it up uh, very carefully, work on the paint, make it shine that little bit extra more and then add a very good wax. So that's what we're doing today.
So at this point, just finishing up the area around the gas cap, the car is looking amazing as I expected. The wet sanding went perfectly for those deeper scratches. I just wanted to take a step back, talk to the owner about this car, and uh, see what he did for two and a half years to really make this car personal to him. I know he mentioned at uh, one point during the day that he put around eight carburetors on it to see which one he likes the best. So it's really cool to see the amount of time and effort you could put into something when you really have a passion for it. Yeah. You know, they're pretty ugly where this one I've, oh, yeah. I've cleaned it up a little bit. You know, I made special panels and I've covered them with carpet. And Even the edges are so tight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so all of this is metal. And this part here is fiberglass, and this part here is fiberglass. So what they did in 69 and 70, and, and actually all the Shelbys, they basically just took an original Mustang, sent it to Shelby America. Shelby America would actually cut the rear valens off, or the rear tail panel off, and bolt on a fiberglass one. So this is exactly the way they did it originally. Oh, they, just, they just basically screwed on a fiberglass tail panel. Yeah. And then they unbolted the Mustang quarter extensions and bolted on the fiberglass ones. And, you know, just tweaked all the front and tweaked all the, the back. So your weather seals are way better in factory as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, I put all the original decals, um, but this is fiberglass. I mean, the training will probably take about 1,200 horsepower. Wow. Uh, the motor's only 635 with another 150 shot of nitrous that's going to go into it. The rear end is really nice. I, this is about my 10th rear end that I built. This rear end is very, very killer. So that rear end will take probably 2,500 horsepower. It's all, it's got extra framing. It's got the best axles, the best center section. It, it's a really killer rear end. And it's all, it's all painted. Like when I painted it, it'll probably look like that. It's probably really dirty right now, but it did look really nice when I put it it's in. very nice. The bumpers are all custom. So basically, I will take this bumper and I'll cut it in two spots. So this bumper probably should have come out to about an inch wider. I will cut an inch out of both sides, tighten it up to the point where I think it flows nicer, yep. re-weld it, and I get it painted. Yeah, somebody, you would have to be a, a real Mustang guy to know that those bumpers are, are something special. Yeah. You know, because you can take your finger, basically, I just take my finger and I run it all the way along, and that gap is all the same, all the way around the whole side. Like, I probably have eight different carburetors on this car. <laughs> Every time I see a carburetor that I think would be nice, I buy it, try it out, sell the one that's on there. You know, so I, I feel comfortable playing with carbs.
colors, the Shelby is all done. We went from uh, decontamination after assessing to see what the paint was like, uh, determined it did need a paint correction. So we went ahead with a full cut and polish on about 85% of the car and then put a really nice Carnuba wax on it, just like they would do in this time period. Uh, next year we may revisit it to do a ceramic coating on the black because I found out from the very nice owner that this, this black, when you read it through these scanners, is like the almost the darkest of dark you can go. So I really want to protect that paint for later on. And um, yeah, this, this car is amazing. It's been hand built by the owner. And when I mean built, I mean it was just a frame. He didn't even have the shell. It was all ordered in separately, different people, locations. Uh, there's a few original pieces like the hood, the front bumper, and the eyebrows that go around the headlights. So they're all original and he even adjusted them with the welding and grinding and just so that's why this car is very special and I was happy to be part of it. So if you go to Motorama this year, just keep an eye out for this one.